Alright, yo, what is good everyone, Nick Smith is back. I simulated up against the first game against the Dallas Mavericks. That was the first game of this 2017, is it? yeah, 2017 season. DeMarcus obviously just had a boogie game. He just went beast mode, 24 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks, shooting 10 for 16. He just did what DeMarcus Cousins does. D'Angelo Russell didn't have the greatest shooting game, but it doesn't really matter because we managed to beat... The Mavericks, and th no, this is still 2016, so it is the 2017 season, I think, though. But anyway, let me go. Let me show you guys all of the team's rosters and show you guys what moves they made. So the Cavaliers got rid of LeBron in free agency, picked up Joe Johnson, though, to replace the hole that LeBron had left them in. So that's kind of a, it's a pretty big hole to fill, but I don't think Joe Johnson can do that. But at least they got somebody at that position that can do all right. This New York Knicks team went ham. Getting Dwayne Wade and Al Jefferson teaming up with Melo and Porzingis. Whew, that team is nice. Wade and, and Melo, really good friends in real life. So I guess it's pretty uh, pretty cool to see them. And look at this Nets team. Their best player is Andrea Bagnani. Are you serious? I might have to go after one of their picks because they are going to be terrible. Brandon Knight, Tristan Thompson team up with Paul George. Um, I mean, that's, that's a decent... That's a decent team. Hassan Whiteside on the Pistons. They got him in free agency, who actually becomes upset with the Pistons. And I try to make a play for him later on in upcoming videos. LeBron, Bledsoe, Ellis. It's a nice big three in Phoenix. LeBron and Ellis are actually really, really good friends. Uh, not LeBron and Ellis. LeBron and Bledsoe are really, really good friends in real life. So that's kind of cool how they team up. But, I mean, it's kind of unrealistic at the same time. Carl Anthony Towns and Wiggins, they're going to be a really good dynamic one-two punch. Derek Favors teams up with Lillard in the Trailblazers. And, uh, yeah, let's get in to this game up against the Houston Rockets. Let's go. So let's talk about the Houston Rockets real quick. In real life, these guys are kind of... They're getting better at, at, as, the, as the season goes. Well, let's just say James Harden is getting a little bit better as the season goes on. He started off playing shocking at the start of the year this year. It was crazy to watch. He was... Man, he just couldn't shoot. I don't know what happened to James Harden. He gets blocked right there, but he just couldn't shoot. I don't really know what happened. Obviously, players do bad at some points and... I guess this point, at least it's good that he decided to do bad at the start of the year and not at the end of the year, if you know what I mean. So, he just went off. Same with a little bit like Anthony Davis. They didn't start out how they wanted to, but they're going to pick it up throughout the uh, the rest of the season. At least we hope so. Well, unless they're playing your team or they are in your team. I don't really want James Harden to pick it up if he's playing the Heat. I want my Heat to win. But uh, yeah, let's get started with this commentary. Up against the Houston Rockets. And it was a pretty good matchup. Oladipo's a decent defender. He, he, as you guys saw, he did strip James Harden right there. And Dwight Howard matches up against DeMarcus Cousins. And that's pretty much the matchups that we have to worry about. James Harden, though, Oladipo couldn't defend Harden. Like, as much as I tried, he just couldn't. J.R. Smith, team no defense, we bring him in. And he goes all the way for the layup. It's just team no defense versus team no defense. Harden versus J.R. Smith. Team no defense. And what I plan to do with J.R. Smith in this series is, you know, do what he used to do. And look at Dwight Howard. He had no idea what Boogie was doing right there. Um, and Dwight Howard, he's gone down in overall. Like, I think he's like an 83 in this My Gym series. He, I don't know what happened to Dwight Howard. He needs to get rejuvenated, go to another team. But it definitely won't be the Lakers. I can tell you that much. I can't really have Dwight Howard on this team again. Especially having Kobe Bryant on this team. I mean, that's just... I don't know, man. It just, that just won't happen. <laughs> but, um, no, seriously. Um, J.R. Smith, what I want him to be in this series... And look at Randall throwing it down right there. But what I want J.R. Smith to be in this series is just what he used to be. Just that sixth man of the year type player. He needs to be that sixth man of the year. And he's going to show you how he can be that sixth man of the year. He's been doing some work when he's, you know, come in this game. He's got some buckets, got some assists. 
get that out of here. Not in my house, Ty Law. So what you trying to do? You're like five foot one. I'm gonna block you every day of the week. Oladipo slams it down. And that's what I love about Oladipo. He's so athletic in this game. And look at JR Smith, man. I'm telling you, this JR Smith makes up for me losing Gerald Green and losing Nick Young. He he's a solid player. We run we run a play for Kobe Bryant, yeah. Nick Smith actually runs the play. What is life right now? Yeah, I know, man. I, I I never run plays. I decided to run a play, though. Kobe Bryant, mid-range shot. That's money. Well, I, I don't know if I can say that anymore. I mean, in real life, <laughs> Kobe hasn't... He, he also hasn't been shooting too well. But, yes, yeah, start of the fourth quarter, up by eight points. Surely we won't lose this game. Ty Lawson, and one. Ty Lawson, and one. What is life right now? This man, Ty Lawson, I guess he got rejuvenated by going to the Houston Rockets because he's been doing work. So I give, I give it to D'Angelo Russell, and he gets that to go. Harden with the mid-range shot makes it a one-point game, and now they actually have to lead by three. Oladipo slams that one down, and we're only down by one point now. The Rockets are a solid team in this. I don't, they're just really good. I just, I don't know how to stop James Harden. Luckily though, shot clock winding down, I get a nice three with D'Angelo Russell, who also hasn't been doing as well as I thought he would in real life, but, you know, his time will come. This man though, Julius Randle, he's been doing really well in real life. I'm, I'm surprised to see how well uh, G Julius Randle's doing in real life, and he's also been doing pretty well in this My GM series as well, but uh, yeah. I tell you what I have to do though, I have to give more minutes to uh, Jordan Clarkson, and that's what I'm going to try and do. I want to try and give JR Smith and Jordan Clarkson the minutes off the bench, see what they can provide us. And look at all the deep of getting hot right there. I get matched right back with Cheryl Reza. I jump right there, it was a bad jump. They feed Dwight Howard, mid range shot, he gets that to go. 66 to 67. It's Kobe time. 8 seconds left, 5 seconds left, 2 seconds left, step back with Kobe, fade away, and he bricks it. We lose this game by one point up against the Houston Rockets, which I don't even, I don't mind. Like, honestly, I don't mind because it shows that we're improving. And that's all that I really want to see with this series. Until we decide to make a huge playoff, playoff run, I don't mind if we don't win these close games. As long as we show some resilience and show some fight, then that's all that matters to me. Oladipo, I got to shoot some more with him, but I don't know, man. He just... He just seems to always be upset with this team, and he will get traded, and I'm telling you guys now, he will get traded, so that's that, but uh, yeah, after this game, I do decide to simulate a whole bunch of games afterwards, so that's why when you watch the next video, I will face up against the Warriors, um, because I just keep simulating, and yeah, I'm up against the Warriors in the next episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, I'm out, peace!